Hello and welcome. The following few minutes I will spend some time explaining to you how to use the bow tonic, the wood tonic, and along with that you will see that you'll require a few more things to help you. One of them is a popsicle stick that you will use as an applicator for the wood tonic. The other thing that you will need for the bow tonic is a square facial cotton piece that you can find at the grocery store or you can also find at the pharmacy and that will help you to use the bow tonic. The other thing that will help you in using the wood tonic it would be a cloth like paper towel such as this one. You can get that at any grocery store and make sure it reads cloth like paper towel and you will need to fold it in half and then half again so it will give you about a working area about that much. The one thing you have to know about wood tonic and bow tonic is that they are made of naturally occurring materials. They are both edible and they will not damage your instrument whatsoever. If you drink bow tonic, which I do not recommend, it tastes bad but it will not damage you in any way. The moment you taste it, you will know. Same thing with wood tonic. It's all made out of natural edible materials and will not damage your instrument or damage you in case you decide you need a snack. The one thing also to remember is that if you have almond nut allergies, you want to stay away from wood tonic, but otherwise it's safe to use. Enjoy it and we'll see you soon. We're going to show you how to use bow tonic. So you have your bow tonic in your aluminum container and you're going to get your piece of cotton pad and you're going to saturate that until the pad is completely saturated. You're going to take your bow, you're going to put the pad under and over and then you're going to saturate the hair making sure you gently squeeze the moisture into the hair. You're going to do that for about 30 seconds to one minute and on the lower parts near the frog where you have sometimes a lot of grease from the hand onto the hair you're going to add a little more bow tonic by squeezing it out in there and rubbing it into it. That's going to be the treatment that you're going to use. Then always make sure your bow is completely loosened and then you let it dry overnight at least four hours and I recommend that you do it overnight and that will get you the best results. With a fresh piece of cloth like paper towel you're going to fold it into half and then half. You will take some of the wood tonic with your application stick, a popsicle, it will be fine. You will apply it onto the paper towel. You will take your instrument and you rub fast and gently on the instrument in circular motion. Stay over the same area for about 30 seconds and then move to a different area and work your way through the instrument and that will protect the instrument and gives it a nice luster as well as the protection that is needed and the conditioning that is needed for the varnish to, still, to stay in good condition. One area of your instrument that gets a lot of wear and not enough attention is the back of the neck of the instrument. Rub it against the back of the neck of the instrument. Make sure that you apply it well and evenly and rub on that part of the instrument for about 30 seconds to a minute and it will pick up some of the oils from your hand that are left from your thumb 
on the back of the instrument. Do the same thing on the bouts that where you touch the instrument to make sure that that stays clean and that will protect the varnish of your instrument and it will keep it nice for many years to come. You will get the paper towel and you will work the wood tonic onto the fingerboard and some on top of the strings to take the oxidation of the strings. You will see the residue of the working of your fingers and the oxidation from the wood will remain on the paper towel. There's one more thing you have to know about rosin in your bow. Too much rosin acts like quicksand. So the more you apply, the more slippery your bow gets. In that case, you have to use bow tonic and that will remove the excess rosin that's in your hair and you'll be able to more efficiently make a better sound.